Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft or my modded Minecraft series. Uh, yeah, so we are back and today we plan on going into the nether, straight to the depths of hell. But first I've got a few things I want to uh, quickly do. So we're out of space, which means that we have run out for that. I'm going to put Corvade with you. And we've also got a honeycomb. Great. So that's our B sorted. And this lot I want to be purebred commons if possible. Because I want to get some diligence. So I'm going to stick you in there. I'm actually going to have to free up some space in these. So I'll just get rid of these lot as well. So that's going to be the first thing. And you may have already noticed the next thing uh, in front of me, which I haven't actually got around to currently uh, fixing up yet. But we do have have a new area. This is going to be my crossbreeding area. Uh, I may expand it at some point, but basically what I want to do is have a pool of water in the middle, a 4x4, so it's an infinite water source. And basically we're going to have a cross section. Uh, I believe this is the best way to breed crops. So basically we're going to have a cross section and we're going to have basically a fully uh, grown on the corner pieces and then in the center we're going to have the crossbreeding so that we can do a, a good source of uh, crossbreeding and then the worst one will basically be picked out the new one will be put in if it's better so that's pretty much what i want to do i'm still got all my crops here so that's that uh we do i did um, of course make some more uh, coal seeds so we've now got two coal seeds that i will eventually crossbreed and i also made sure to make uh, some, I always get this wrong, Minicio, yeah, Minicio seeds. So we've got Minicio seeds. These have, of course, crossbred, so we've got three of these now. I did make two, and now we've currently got three because we did crossbreed them, so that's great. Uh, the first time I tried it, they did have, uh some uh, weeds come up so yeah but that's that bit so we've finished on that one i do still need to put the water into that other section though and of course we're heading in to the nether so uh, we've got our flint and steel ready that's all sorted and i did make a chest currently for uh, things that i want to do this episode so before we head into the nether there is a few things that i want to get set up and ready so we are going to go into that so the first thing that i want is going to be a uh, pump so for the pump i am going to need a few different things so um we are going to, for the pump, need some tanks, so for that you just need a glass, so I've got two tanks, these are buildcraft, and then I believe, I don't think we need, no I don't think we need that, uh, let's just quickly look up pump, so pump, 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 -a -dee pump, 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 so hopefully that will load up. If it doesn't, then oh well. Uh, yeah, but I've got everything ready, basically. I know I'm going to have to upgrade this gear because we aren't going to have very good with wood. So are you going to load up pump or not? It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Unless it's searching for it, and I don't know. Um, right, so I get... Oh God, we've got 832 pages to go through if I'm going to find it. Oh, brother. Oh, there we go. Okay, did find it. Right, so pump. We need a buildcraft pump. So for this, we need a gear, as I said, two tanks, a bucket, some more. So yeah, I'm probably going to need a little bit more iron, um, which I can, of course, go get. So that is fine. I thought I was all prepared, and I'm not. Great. Typical. Oh, well. It's not too bad. I haven't made uh, two more of these yet, but I have organized a little bit more stuff. Oh, for God's sake, that changes every single time I use these goddamn things. Right. One, two. There we go. Okay. That should be all that we need. Of course, I will probably need to make a tank as well, so I will get around to doing that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we are going to, of course, have to make ourselves a gear, which... Ah, I just put all of my... Damn it! By the way, guys, if you hear any background noise, I apologize. I've got my window open because it is super hot here in England at the moment. We are... <laughs> we don't usually get this weather, so it's a bit unforgivable. Um, but there we go. We've got our gear. Is it stainless? 
no, because it's not steel. Uh, right, so we're going to put the two tanks in there. The bucket at the bottom, I believe it was redstone at the top. And we still need more. Ah! Yes, yeah, so it is super hot in England at the moment. And because we are British, we're not usually used to this weather. We have had thunderstorms today, though, so that's a bit of a pain. But there we go. We got a pump. Um... Yeah, so if you hear any background noise, it's probably that. I would have my fan on, but that's way too loud while recording, so it's unfortunate. And I'm sweating like hell, so uh, yeah, but I'm sure I'll get that sorted at some point. Right, I'm going to stick this stuff in here if I can, because I don't really want it in my inventory. Uh, I do want those. I do, of course, want those. Um, right, so we're going to quickly go in here and grab that. I need to know what I need for a tank, because I want to get... Ooh, I don't know if they'll actually be in here. Ah. Matter condenser. That's got a different texture to what I expected. Okay. Um, looks like this has changed a lot of textures. Still not sure about this texture pack, to be fair. Uh, right, okay. So, we've got a pump. But, of course, we will need a tank. So, the tank is slightly more... Uh, Easy, I'm hoping. Uh, I don't want an ender tank because those will have to cost me money. We do have mechanism in this and we don't currently have basic control circuits. So I'm thinking if we've actually got it in here, I would go with a thermal expansion tank. But I don't think it's in here because I don't have thermal expansion. So that is unfortunate and there's a lot of fluids. Holy moly. Uh, I don't believe we have mine chems, so that's not even half of the ones that we could have. Um, why does it have to show every single one? That's annoying. Oh, brother. Okay, well, I know that these tanks are pretty cool, the open block ones, because they actually allow you to uh, pick them up, I believe, with the fluids inside them. So that's a good idea. Um, that could be a handy one to have. I hadn't really decided on a tank, to be fair, and I wish I had. Yeah, so I'm thinking that the best tank will probably be the open blocks tank, but the problem with that is we need obsidian, so I will have to go and get some of that. We'll also need some glass panes, so I will, of course, need to make those, and then I guess we will head over to the nether, and we also do technically need some piping as well. Ooh. I was hoping this was all sorted. I was hoping that I got everything. It turns out I didn't. No! Okay, so another thing, just real quickly while I'm doing this. I have, of course, made a staircase down here. Not the whole way, but most of the way. Uh, I do still need to dig out the top bit. But for the most part, I've made a staircase and it works pretty well. So I'm fairly happy. I've also done a lot of mining uh, between episodes and got myself some more diamonds. I've got a load of other resources as well, which is really great. So... Uh, yeah, we've got lots of resources now, thankfully, so hopefully we'll get used to uh, using some of those pretty soon. But first of all, I want to get myself some obsidian. Okay, so we're back at the house. Uh, I actually ran out of some charcoal, so that's a shame. But we've got our obsidian. I am just waiting up on the rest of the glass that we need to create some glass panes. I don't... Ah, we've actually got some. I don't need them. Okay, good. That is very, very handy. So we're going to put some obsidian down and then we're going to get the glass panes to make ourselves the tanks that we need. There we go. We've got two. So that will hold about uh, 32 buckets of lava, I believe, if we need that many. Um, now, the other thing we'll need, of course, is fluid of uh, fluid. Well, it technically is fluid. I think it's fluidux. Um... There is AE stuff for this, so I can't wait to use that, because I haven't actually done that before. We can hold it all in an AE system, that'd be great. Um, oh, God sake, what is it then? Okay, so what we're going to use is the transfer node of liquids. So, for this, we do need some uh, transport pipes, which is super easy to make. So, uh, not that, or that uh sort of that uh basically what we need if i can find it in here 
is so for transfer pipes we need some redstone inside some glass and some stone slabs so i'm just quickly getting some stone slabs ready we should have enough there actually for some stone slabs there we go and then we're going to stick these get that glass in and get that redstone in in the right place please thank you and then we're going to stick this at the top put the uh we need a redstone block if we're going to do a single one of these which is all i need at the moment so single block of redstone one of those on the top i believe it's lapis lazuli the sides of it and what's on the bottom the bottom we need some iron uh some iron and a bucket so iron either side and then the bucket at the bottom should give us our liquid uh, transfer node and we've got our transfer pipes already so that's great that should all work nicely and then i believe the next thing i need to do is just quickly make a lava generator so we'll quickly do that Okay, so for this, we need a furnace, which we now have, and we also need to get a iron block, which is thankfully pretty easy to get, so we're going to get an iron block, and then with that, we're going to stick it in the middle, I'm going to stick that at the bottom, uh, we're going to stick redstone either side of the furnace, and then gold around the rest of it. it, should give us a lava generator from extra utilities, which is always my starting energy source no matter what mod pack i'm on and it's got extra utilities in it i will always use this thing so yeah i believe that's about all that we need at the moment so i'm hoping it is at least we've got a little bit of armor not a whole lot and we've got our sword um probably not going to be too protected if we come across anything too mean i'm not entirely sure what's gonna be in the nether for us so i'm a little bit worried we've got some cooked chicken and stuff though i'm gonna put in here what i don't actually need so things like glass um i should probably take some cobble with me as just in case to get on platforms and stuff uh we do have our tanks we have our nodes and all that so i think we should be a-okay or at least i'm hoping we're gonna be so yeah Let's just quickly grab, not walk into there, we're going to quickly grab some carrots, and we're going to grab these as well, these do give us some Minicio, and we've also got some coal, I probably should have tried crossbreeding them, but oh well. And I guess now we're going to head off to the nether, so uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Hehe. <laughs> Oh god, I'm nervous now actually because I don't actually know what's going to be in there. I know that I've added mods and stuff, but I don't know what mods alter the nether, so... Well, I mean, as long as we don't run into a wither or an ender skeleton, uh, ender skeleton, ender dragon, we should be fine. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't think those naturally spawn, thank god. Okay, so we're here, and oh my god, there is a lot of weird particles. Not entirely sure what adds all these, but they're annoying as hell, and we're here, we're here in the nether, we've got some really weird ores, I know some of these, <gasps> ooh, aridite, this is what I came for, I came for some of that, I came for some of this lovely, lovely elegant glowstone, uh, didn't come for nether rack, although it can be very handy to have, so I'm glad about that, I actually came here to set up a power source, so... Yes, but I also came to pick up a lot of resources while we're here. So I don't want to mine anything like redstone and stuff because that would just piss pigmen off. Um, there's a glowstone there, good. I hear some ghasty woos, so I don't want to run into them. Uh, I'm going to mine this. I don't know if this will piss off pigmen or not. We've got sulfur. Now, nether quartz is something we're definitely going to need. Uh, we've also got elemental ores in here as well down here anything special or is it gonna be a loop or a dead end it's just gonna be a loop silver we've got more quartz on the roof uh, these are elemental infused ores which we will need later on and this is dead end okay I've got to basically find my way out of this cave and into an actual area of the nether so it looks like there's an area this way that we can go to we've got Ignatius or whatever it's called got some lapis uh, looks like this way is going to be our best bet, so I'm going to start digging this way. If we run into any things that break... Oh god, I'm really hoping we don't... Ooh, iron. Shadow iron. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm hoping we don't get any, like... Oh my god, that's a long way down. Eh. 
Yeah, so I was hoping that we wouldn't run into any, like, uh, silverfish type things, although there would be netherfish, but looks like we're gonna be okay. I haven't ran into any yet, so I think we're gonna be a-okay on that. Oh my, ooh, key, don't wanna go that way just yet. Okay, there we go. We're on a ledge, we're good. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any pigmen around, which is great. Ooh, mithril! I don't think I've ever found this before. Gonna mine it. I'm gonna mine it and see if pigmen get pissed, but I don't see any at the moment, so I think we're okay. Probably should have put a marker where the uh, entrance is, so I'm just gonna quickly stand here. We're gonna open our waypoints and new waypoint. Uh, yeah, I might as well keep it red because this is the nether, so. Um, way to portal. There you go. Way to portal. Right, so at least that's going to be uh, pretty okay because the portal's sort of hidden. We're not going to have any gas going after it. The pyrite ore. Uh, I never actually thought of disabling some of the ores here. Oh my god, these give so much munitio. Hoo-hoo, I'm getting that. Okay, so I don't see any pigmen around, which is great. There's probably one over there, actually. I'm going to ignore him and try to keep away. Um... Soul sand around here, which is going to be very handy as well. We've got poisonous ores. Um, I'm currently looking for some cobalt, although I guess we should also find a spot to put down our pump and uh, stuff. Okay, there's stuff over here. Oh, you look pissed. You look very pissed. Oh dear. Oh god, I pissed them off. I pissed them off. You're gonna re. Yep, you're gonna go for me. Okay, 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 okay. Pigmen are definitely going to be pissed now I attack one of their own. Oh, God. I'm going to try and avoid as many of them as possible. Oh, God, they're all over the place. Uh, oh, no. No, no, no. You do not see me. What the fuck was that? Was that the soul sand? That was freaky as shit. Right, what's down here? Is there anything actually down here? I'm hoping this is all lava. Okay, this would be a great place to put a lava sort uh, a uh, pump. So I'm gonna set that up real quick. Uh, at least pigmen shouldn't attack me because I don't see any. There is some wisps around though, so that's gonna be pretty dangerous, especially since I'm over some lava. As long as I don't come this way, I should be okay. So I'm gonna just stick this down like so. I'm going to build it out one bit more. Alright, that's where our pump's going to be. So, I'm going to stick that bit there. And then we're going to set up our pump here. I do need, of course, lava to stick into our generator first of all, though. So, that's going to be annoying. And we are going to set that up. Probably don't need those transfer pipes, really. Um, yeah, so we do need this. And we're going to need to stick some of this down right so yeah that's that but the problem is I didn't bring a bucket with me so I'm gonna go back to the house and we're gonna return with hopefully some uh, or a bucket so I'll be back in a minute cuz I gotta get back up okay so we're back luckily there's a lava source up here so I've just quickly grabbed that it means we don't have to go down to the surface I'm hoping this thing's lowered and it has done, that's great. So we can stick this into our lava generator. This should start generating um, power, which will then fuel this thing to give this lava, which it has done, which is great. Which means this is gonna start building up its buffer, which means uh, we can do stuff. Of course I left the freaking tanks in the overworld. God damn it, be right back. Mm, 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 mm. Where are you, where are you? Oh God, oh God, Jesus, what's happening? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'm burning. I'm burning. Oh, jeez, a bat just attacked me and scared the shit out of me. Oh, boy. Right, don't want to run into any more of them. Oh, he went through the portal and then exploded me on this side. Okay, then. What an arse. It's not helpful that our house is mostly made up of wood either. That's not a good thing. That, that could be a problem. Okay, so there is a hellhound up here as well. I'm not going to go that way into it because I don't want to get killed by the bugger. I still hear that freaking ghast. Um, yeah, hellhounds are from witchery and... Oh god, there's a ghast! Hello! 
Yeah, you explode that. That's fine. Right, we're gonna get our tanks and we're gonna quickly set these up. This should be super quick. There we go. We've already got most of that and this is a multi-block so we can fill it up even more and then we should be able to mine this there we go we can mine it and we can get the lava which means uh i can set up another one of those lava generators on the overworld side and every now and again we'll just have to come back here and pick up a little bit more lava but honestly that's that's okay with me i don't mind doing that uh, we will, of course, need to get a few other items such as quartz and stuff. So I might as well real quickly do that while we're here. Because um, quartz will be very, very handy for Ender IO. I've been uh, messing around with that a lot in uh, in the Infinity mod pack. I hear a lot of pigmen. Uh, so yeah, I've been messing around a lot with that in the Infinity mod pack. And... Ender.io is great. Like, it adds an absolute ton of stuff. The cabling makes things so much better. I'm exploding a lot right now. That's not good. I need to probably turn that off and turn the pigman aggro off because I don't like that. That's the my least favorite part of that mod. Like, it adds a ton of stuff, sure, but it's just so annoying. And this ferris here, I've got to grab this. Okay, why am I using an iron pick? Not entirely sure why I've even got an iron pick. Okay, well, we're going to head back to the overworld and I'm going to see what we can do next. Oh god, okay, there is pigmen here. I'm going to quickly sneak into this portal and hopefully not die from them. If I do, then I'll probably uh, have to uh, come back here with a bit more armor on because otherwise I'm gonna probably end up dead but I'm okay I'm good I'm good we're gonna sleep real quick and I'm hopefully gonna set up another lava generator so we can get some power okay guys so just got myself another iron block ready to get myself another one of those lava generators and so I'm just quickly putting these things together and we should just have enough stuff for that there we go so there we go we've got a lava generator I'm gonna go and stick this over in I mean, um, we sort of need the power, so I'm going to stick it here at the moment, and I'm going to stick the two lava tanks on the top of it. We can, of course, drain these anytime we need. Uh, I may need to set up another lava thing, so this will intake. I mean, for now, I can use a bucket, but I will, of course, need to set it up so this will intake the lava. So I may have to do that pretty soon because this is going to use a lot of lava. So, yeah, that would probably be an idea. But we've got power now in the base, so that's great. I will, of course, need to go and collect some more lava every now and again because we do need some more. But I'm going to real quick go and stick this in here as well so that we've got some ready for getting other stuff. And we've got Aurodite now. Ardite, Ardite. We just need some cobalt, which I didn't see any while we're over in the nether, so that is slightly annoying. I'm wondering why we actually got the quartz blocks rather than the actual quartz. I thought we got quartz. No, we get quartz blocks. Yeah, that's right. That's because that exploded that we got quartz. Okay, well, that's not too bad. We got some mithril, which I'm not entirely sure what mithril does. Uh, oh, it's the uh, mana infused metal. Okay, so that's... Okay, so we have got mithril tools and stuff we can get. We've got mithril gear, apparently. Not sure if that's got any uses. I'll just real quickly check. Do we? Mithril doesn't look like it. No. Okay, so what can this be made into, then? Is it a good tool thing, or... Mithril block... Doesn't look like it's good for anything, so, <laughs> oh well, I guess, uh, I guess we didn't need that at all. Oh well, we've got it, we've got it, so if we ever add any mods in the future that need mithril or mana infused stuff, then I guess we will use it, but not really anything at the moment, so... I guess the next episode we will attempt to get some machines ready and we will probably try and get ourselves a quarry as well because that would be really cool to get. It means that I wouldn't have to go searching for items quite as much. Um, but before we go, I do want to get one more thing before I leave, which is going to be a chest upgrade for some of this stuff. So I'm going to need a few of these. We do, of course, have plenty, so I'm just going to quickly get about 
eight. Um, I'm only going to jump on four on camera, so don't worry, you don't have to go through all of that pain. But I'm going to upgrade some of these chests real quick to some iron chests because, I mean, we could probably get gold as well. We've got plenty of gold with us, so I might do that. Um, but yeah, if we get some iron chests, it means I've got more space to put things in, so that'll be great. Uh, I can make more dedicated chests and stuff, because an iron chest is equal to uh, two double... No. Iron chest is equal to a double chest. There we go. I was thinking two chests, but no, it's equal to a double chest, so that'll be great for storage, for seeds and stuff, so... And then we can have a separate one for ores and different one for that sort of stuff, so... We do have ores and stuff upstairs, but I still want to get one no matter... So, I'm going to just real quickly put that in there, and I may get myself another generator, I'm not entirely sure yet, but I do definitely want to get a quarry, because then we'll be able to get resources and stuff to automate all of that, and sort of want to get into Ender.io as soon as possible, because it is a brilliant mod, and uh, I want to show it off a bit more than what I have in previous series, which would be great, because the cabling in that mod is magnificent. <laughs> you may not think cabling is great, but believe me, Ender.io allows it to be so much more compact. And it also allows for ME stuff, so yeah. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly put a chest upgrade together. And then we will wrap up the episode. I do want to check on my crops, really, but I'll do that off camera. And do that sort of stuff so yeah but remember guys hit that like button if you have enjoyed this episode I plan on hopefully getting a quarry together next episode if I don't then I will be surprised because I've got most of the resources that I need I believe I've probably not quite got enough diamonds uh, but I will go hopefully mine some up between episodes so that would be great if that happens so yes but we've got more chest space now so i'm gonna stuff all of this in here i'm gonna get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that get rid of all the stuff that doesn't belong in the organics so that sort of stuff but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember if you did give it a like and remember to subscribe for more content coming in at the future and uh yeah but that's pretty much been it for this episode i hope you all did enjoy and i will see you guys next time so until then bye